Speaker. The Honourable Peter Dunn. Mr Speaker, on behalf of United Future, I want to join with other members in supporting the resolution moved by the Deputy Prime Minister in respect of the horrific earthquake that devastated uh, Nepal and other countries in the region at the weekend. As the television photos have come through and we have seen the signs of the rubble, uh, we saw the dramatic pictures last night of the avalanche on the lower slopes of Everest, uh, the buildings collapsing in and around Kathmandu. The enormity of that event has started to sink in very deeply. At first it was just a trickle of deaths and casualties, now up over 4,000, 100,000 homeless, many more uh, unaccounted for, and even a casualty with respect to a New Zealander confirmed as having died, although from a related condition, as part of the earthquake drama. Mr Speaker, I suspect a few years ago we would have let events like this simply wash over us to some extent. They happened in other places. They were horrific and tragic. But ever since the events in Christchurch, they've taken on a new significance for New Zealanders because we know, maybe at a smaller scale, what the devastation can be, what the uprooting of societies is as a consequence, and consequently what the need for reconstruction and assistance at times of trouble uh, can be as well. Mr Speaker, I support the initiative taken so far by the government in terms of financial assistance. I agree that it probably will not be where the issue ends. There will be more calls made on our assistance in the future and we should be prepared unstintingly to provide that. In that context, sir, I acknowledge the readiness and preparedness of our urban search and rescue unit, which was to have deployed to uh, Tibet last night, but uh, is not required at this time. Mr Speaker, those people gave up uh, their weekend at short notice to be ready to go, and sir, that is what we would expect of them, and I acknowledge their preparedness and their contribution. Mr Speaker, uh, all of us would share a sense of deep horror at the unfolding events. We wish a, I was going to say speedy, that's probably inappropriate, but a, a clear and quick return to a sense of normalcy in Tibet. We hope that the deprivation that has been evident in recent days uh, can be placed under some control and we look forward to working with the international community to restore the tradition of that proud country and to strengthen further the links between our two nations as we help them recover from this tragedy. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes have it. Point of order, Mr Speaker. A point of order, the Honourable Annick.